Hey, this is Rick Brandenburg for Turf Bugs and Rock and Roll. And I'm gonna continue on a, on a little thing that we did uh, starting about a year ago that uh, every changing of season, we're gonna take a time and I'm gonna talk about it a little bit, but I'm gonna have my buddies, uh, Fred Yelberton and, and Jim Kearns talk about transitioning from one season to the next and considerations that you might have for pest control, whether it be insects, weeds, or diseases. And I'm gonna start out and then the, the next four weeks, it'll be Fred and Jim talking about cool and warm season thoughts on disease and weed management. But when it comes to insect management, there are really some key points. And, and now's a good time because insect pests are either still happening, it's, it's mid-September right now, and at least in North Carolina, it's still pretty hot and humid. Insect pests are happening, or at least they're fresh in your mind, so you can stop and think a little bit about what happened the past few months. And number one, you need to consider, did you have any unusual or new pests? And if you did, you really need to dig deeper during the fall and find out, you know, what does this mean? Is it, was it just a, a flash in a pan that happened this one time, or is it a new emerging pest that I'm really going to have to start paying attention to and developing a plan on how to manage it? The other thing, and I think this is perhaps one of the most critical, is where did it occur? If you have a, a lawn care company, you've got neighborhoods scattered all over, was the pest restricted to any one particular area where it was more common or was it distributed equally around all the properties that you manage? Or even on a golf course, and a golf course is one that I see it a lot because you can see it all in a matter of a, of a very short period of time, and that certain fairways or certain greens or whatever might have specific problems and others don't. And really mapping is so critical to be efficient at what you do because most of the time pests don't occur any, everywhere. They occur in specific areas of, of either a golf course or of the properties that you manage uh, with a lawn care company. So mapping and understanding where these pests occur. And then finally the other one is, you know, were there any unusual weather patterns, which almost every year there is, that may have encouraged or promoted or may have inhibited. So basically what I'm saying is when we transition from summer to fall with insects, while it's still fresh in your mind, review what just happened. New pests, uh, you know, unusually high levels of pests, where they occurred, mapping, monitoring, looking for unusual uh, situations that occur under areas that were irrigated, non-irrigated, uh, you know, lawns that are, or turf that was cut at certain heights. Just try to understand why it happens, where it happens, and when. And the final thing you really need to look at, did your management practice work effectively? Do you think you got the best bang for your buck, a good return on investment of your time and money? And if not, Consider why and consider maybe you need to change products that you're using or practices that you're using so in 2023 you can get a better job done. So I really like reviewing it even though you think maybe you want to do it in the winter. I like reviewing your insect pest problems as you're starting to transition out of the warm season when these pests are most common. So I hope that helps and uh, I'm going to turn it over now to uh, for next four weeks to Fred Yelverton and Jim Kearns to talk about transitioning from summer to fall with weeds and diseases and neither of them need any introduction so I'm not going to give them any but hope that helps look forward to seeing you again next time thanks